former high school student who opened fire in a classroom and wounded three people is waiting to learn his punishment. Hello, I'm Steve Eager. Hello, everybody. I'm Heather Hayes. Timothy Simpkins faces up to life in prison for the 2021 shooting at Mansfield Timberview High School. Fox 4's Dion Anglin was in court today when he took the stand. Dion. Well, the state asked the jury to send a strong message with a punishment for Simpkins. His defense team asked for leniency, and Simpkins himself made an emotional plea to the jury to that same end. Be the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth, so help you guys. Yes. The final voice to testify before the jury decides his punishment is that of convicted school shooter Timothy Simpkins himself. Well, first, I just want to say I'm sorry. For my actions, I know that was wrong and horrible. I mean, there's no justifying that. Simpkins is convicted for the Timberview High School shooting on October 6th, 2021. What the f After a violent classroom brawl, Simpkins pulled a gun from his waistband and fired toward the student who'd attacked him, Zakia Selby. He shot Selby twice more after he'd fallen to the floor in the hallway. Selby, another student, and a teacher were injured and survived. I understand what I did was wrong. Very, very wrong. And I'm sorry. I'm truly sorry. I just asked for another chance. Probation, max probation. The worst the street of probation possible. The jury decided Simpkins was not in fear of his life when he pulled the trigger, despite such claims made by his defense team. The state's case centered around a shooting at a gas station a week before the school shooting, when Simpkins claims he was robbed of drugs, money, and pistol whipped. He fired a gun at his attackers as they drove off. Prosecutors say Simpkins' reaction angry and threatening text messages and internet searches that followed led up to the school shooting. At 5.15, the day after, you look up extended clip for 45. On 9.27, you're not looking up, hey, how do I report, report a crime? Did you? Yes, sir. You, know, you didn't look up Darlington Police Department's main number you didn't look up, hey, what happens if I get robbed on smoking marijuana? Did you? In closing arguments, the prosecution asked the jury to send a strong message while Simpkins' attorneys pleaded for the lowest range of punishment. Probation is set up to rehabilitate. That's what it's for. To give a person the opportunity and the tools you know, Tim may have grew up in a middle-class family, but it's not an affluenza family. It's not an affluenza defense. What he did was wrong. What he did was very wrong. If you feel in your heart of hearts, I cannot give him probation, I want you to consider the minimum of five. There is not one excuse for what he did. He didn't need for anything. He needed for nothing. You cannot rehabilitate a lack of empathy and a cold-blooded heart. We, as a community, you as jurors, must send a message out because we are tired of wringing our hands in desperation about these shootings. And to do it in a school a safer place of learning is even worse. Now, the jury began deliberating punishment just after lunchtime around 1.15. Now, Simpkins can, uh, he is eligible for probation. He can receive anything between that and the maximum possible, which is 99 years in prison or life.